Hello everyone, this is a Fred to here back with another deck review. Hmm, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll use this angle from now on when doing this. But um today's review is from Ben Green V Testament playing cards. It's a lovely deck of cards. Uh let's have a look. Alright, so this is the uh testament playing cards from Ben Green on Kickstarter. And of course it is a biblical theme. Um I know there was some people who weren't a huge fan of that because they're not religious or they don't care for religion. <laughs> I guess that's the same thing. I just remember seeing comments, I think, on the United Cardists and whatnot. Uh, people who aren't too big of a fan of that. If you're not into that, if you're not religious, then just view it like a mythological deck, like a Greek myth deck or a Mayan deck or whatever you want. Anyway, the beautiful deck, the front of the box. They actually have this sleeve on the box, which is pretty cool. It's got a nice soft matte stock. It's embossed. French says Testament, Art Edition. It was supposed to be a more uh, Player's Edition type deck, but they didn't hit the stretch goal. And what you see on the front is the Ace of Spades, which is Jonah and the Big Fist. You'll see that better on the actual Ace. I don't really know anything about Jonah and the Big Fist. I am Catholic. I was raised Catholic, so I know a bit about some of this stuff. And I've watched some biblical movies over the years. But I don't know anything about Zona and the Big Fist. <laughs> On the one side, you can see it looks like a book. The other side, it's the other side of the book. At the top, we'll look at that in a bit. It's a uh, biblical stuff, obviously, and the same at the bottom. In the back, is the back design and it says designed by Ben Green 2018 manufactured by WJPC for Asia Emily and Alice who is Sumar's daughters and perhaps a wife really cool uh, it's very uh, antiqued aged look to it and then you pull out the actual tuck case it's a little bit tight unfortunately that's one of my that's the only major or the only minor complaint I have about it the inside is actually foiled and you have this nice image of Mary, the Virgin Mary, with gold foil around her. And then the other side, you just see some embossed, or debossed, I guess. Well, lettering. All the writing you see on the tuck case is the, uh, basically the full uh, Genesis, or obviously some of the Genesis. Not going to be everything, but it wraps the entire tuck case in gold foil. And then there is a numbered seal. And it says here, and actually I'll read that, it's on side the tuck case as well. It's number 258 out of 550. Very limited. And this is what it says on the seal. It says, on opening this pack, I accept, let me see if I can focus. On opening this pack, I accept the condition of sale that these cards may not be used for gambling purposes. And <laughs> I, I don't gamble, so that's a pretty safe bet. And here we got some uh, some doves. And in the inside, you know, the flaps, the doves as well. The inside of the tuck case, of course, is foiled. And again, there's some more of the Genesis in there. And a beautiful design. And then on the bottom, it says... Stay safe, Ben. All right, it's really nice of him telling us to stay safe. And then we get to the card. You do get a gaff card. It's a Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades is Samson. Um, and this is him after he was betrayed by Delilah. We'll get into them in a bit. The back design looks like that. It's a beautiful back design. Their image, very nice. You got some cherubs on there, all sorts of other symbolism. The cross you see in the middle. Uh, it's something I can say as a Catholic I've seen a lot of in church. It's on the the frocks, whatever you want to call them, that the priests wear. It's on, they'll have them on their like, banners that they have hanging in the church. And the, I forget what it's called, the box that has like the chalice in it and whatnot. Just everything basically has that symbolism on it. It's a monstrance. It's based on that, at least. It's very nice. 
The cards, by the way, have a nice antique gilding on them as well. Also, very nice. The Jokers, you get the good and the evil. You get the angel. And then the evil is a succubus. Or based on a succubus. So that's pretty cool. The Ace of Spades looks like that. It says Testament playing cards. And against Jonah and the Big Fist. It's a big angry looking fist. <laughs> Oop. Um, and all the cards have a nice index with a nice little detail. As you can see. The Ace of Hearts is that. Which is the Heart of Christ. Oops. Again, you see that symbolism in shirts as well. The Ace of Clubs, which has some metallic inks on it, is the Tree of Life, is it? Tree of Knowledge, sorry, with the golden apple of the first sin, Adam and Eve. And then the Ace of Diamonds is all of the plagues. It's probably hard to see them all, but they're all in there. Yeah, all the plagues that was sent down during the uh, story of Moses, you know, like the uh, locusts and the flaming hail and the death of the firstborn, etc., etc. That's all in there. It's hard to see. And then we get, go on to the court cards. Um, the Jack of Spades. Is Samson again? This is the one with the gaff card, and here you can see. I guess his hair has been cut, and his eyes are covered up. Samson, um, don't know a lot about him, but I do have some information on him. He was a guy who loved Delilah, who we're gonna look at right away, and he also, if I recall correctly, fought a lion. I think with his bare hands. So that's interesting. And then we got Delilah, who is a temptress, who uh, betrayed Samson, who is, you know, this biblical guy, so it's a big thing that she did that. And then the king of spades is Abraham, who is known as the patriarch uh, of, of it all. He basically was there when, he's basically the guy, you know, if you look at the Old Testament, you open it up, he's probably going to be the first thing you read about is Abraham. He's basically there at the start. It all started with him. And this is, he also made the ultimate sacrifice. He was going to sacrifice his son for God. And this is right after God stopped him and said, you know, you, you've sown your, you know, your, that you're loyal or whatever. And, you know, he's on his knees thanking God. And of course, the Jack of Hearts is Joseph, who's usually portrayed, of course, as his carpenter, but here, obviously, portrayed a little bit differently. And then the Queen of Hearts is Mary, who here is portrayed pregnant. We never see her portrayed as pregnant. We always see her usually either before she's pregnant or after she's given birth. We don't usually see her like this, so that's an interesting, you know, different thing. And of course, the King of Hearts is Jesus Christ himself. The Jack of Clubs is Cain, of Abel and Cain. I don't know much about him. Queen of Clubs, of course, is Eve, wrapped in a snake with her forbidden fruit. And then the King of Clubs, of course, is Adam, who's taking a bite of his fruit. The Jack of Diamonds is Noah. Of course, Noah's Ark. He got two of every animal, and him and a woman, and they all went on an ark. While there was this big flood that flooded all the land. You know, it's a fairly, fairly known story. Queen of Diamonds, you might be a little less familiar with, is Miriam, who is Moses' sister. And she apparently led the women out while Moses led the men out of bondage. And of course, the King of Diamonds is Moses. With his party of the sea and the flaming tornado in the background. Very nice. Um... I know initially he had planned to have these court cards with image right to the edge, but there were some issues with that, so he changed it. I like what he did. Looks good. Number cards, fairly straightforward, as you might expect. Very cool. Um, beautiful cards. I like them, being that I am 
you know, religious. I don't, I don't go to church regularly. I don't I haven't gone to church in quite some time. But I am religious, I still would say. And uh, I think they're well done. Very nice. You know, they so meaning to me. They handle pretty good. A little bit clumpy at the moment, but... Very nice stock and finish. It is a... Oh. <laughs> Apparently a 310 GSM stock by WJPC in Boston Linen Finis. I like it. For me, this is a solid A+. I got no problems with that. I do hope to see the Player's Edition of the deck, which the Player's Edition would have mirror image court cards and be more, you know, player friendly, more game friendly, obviously. You wouldn't want to use them for gambling, but <laughs> that is that. I apologize if it is a bit long. I'll just see if I missed anything. I don't think that I did. So, yeah. Really nice stack of cards. I like it. Recommend checking it out. I don't know if he has a website, but I do know it's available from a variety of card magic shops. So, that is that. I, I, maybe. It might be. It's a very limited deck. So there might be some available. Anyways, that is that. Comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.